Go. Okay, now I'm going to go over a series of uh, techniques that work off of one of those pressures. So it's going to be the deep stepping in pressure. Uh, so I just take like a single drum stance. Yeah. So I step in deep, and he wraps the leg. That's the pressure. He wraps the leg. Uh, that's a pretty common one. Uh, the bottom guys are looking to wrap that front leg because they want to shoot. There. So let's build some postures uh, that work to nullify that grab. Uh, posture number one. He grabs here. I'm going to get an underhook here. So I'm going to circle in, get the underhook, and I'm going to come down here. And I built a posture here. Now when I'm in this posture, my knees are squeezed together, and I'm holding on, so I'm, I've got good base. So as he pushes and pulls a little bit, I'm okay with my underhook. Uh, to execute my pass, I'm going to slide my knee across till it touches. Flatten him out. Move my leg. So again, the posture is the important part. The pass is not. I get caught. The posture is what keeps me safe. Underhook. Come down and then squeeze my knees together here and then build the base so I don't get swept. So I should be able to survive here. That's the important part. Once I do that, then I can think about passing. Bring my knee across till it touches the mat. Step up. Drive him flat. Then move my foot. That's number one. Number two, I step in, he catches. I'm trying to get in, but I can't get in. I can't get in. Um, I'm going to take my hand, and I can't get the underhook, but I can slide in here, and I can chin cup with like a, a guillotine chin cup. I'm going to cup his chin with my hand, and then lock it under my armpit like a football. Then I'm going to bring this knee up here, and then lock down. Built the posture. Now when he tries to move around a little bit, go ahead and move. Move from the bottom a little bit. He's not going to be able to move. I'm locking him in. Squeezing my knees together, squeezing my elbows together, locking that in. That's a posture that keeps me safe there. So he grabs, trying to get the first one, I can't get it. Get that guillotine, lock it in, step up, come down. Squeezing my knees together and my elbows, locking it in. Got him locked, so I should be really uh, hard to move here. When I'm ready to pass, I'm gonna turn his chin out, step behind, and then harness. Step in. He grabs. I'm trying to underhook. I can't get it. Chin cup. Tuck it under my, help, my uh, armpit like a football. Bring my elbow in. Step behind. Squeeze everything down and squat. Like that. Lock him in. When I'm ready to pass, tight step. Turn. Take the back. Same one. I'm working to get this one in. He knows jujitsu. He's going to be reaching for my back leg with that one. That's what guys will do. Get the cup. Still reaching. Still reaching. Pass it. Go. Turn. Harness. So again, I have to protect that back leg and keep it unavailable. Last one. Actually, not the last one. Two more. He grabs. I'm trying to get this one in. I can't get it in at all. It's just so tight. I got nothing there. I'm protecting. Protecting so I can't get my back leg. When I'm ready, I'm going to make a big step here and squeeze my knees together like that. And if I don't squeeze my knees, he can spin out. But when I squeeze my knees, I'm okay. This is my posture. And then I'll play a game based on that. So again, protecting. I can't get in, I can't get in, I can't get in. Stuff. Come around. Last. I get the harness. I'm trying to fight this arm out. He's trying to catch my bottom leg. He changes up and he wraps my waist like this. So now I can't go that way. So I'm just going to do a strong hip in and take mount. One knee on each side. Hip in. In and out. One more time. I get the chin strap. Fight that arm off. He grabs my waist like that. So I'm going to put one knee on each side. Hip in until my knees pop forward. And then fall mount. 